Well, there's a lot happening in the markets this morning. You have got worries about a full-blown trade war with the Chinese hitting stocks, really hitting stocks in Asia. That was spread to Europe. Now it's hitting our futures. Right now, the Dow is down 168 in the pre-market. S&P and the Nasdaq are down uh, as well. Uh, so you've got one issue investors are watching. Also, you've got Wall Street watching a flattening yield curve. And, and, of course, all the trade tensions continuing. There's worries about could the U.S. go into recession. That's what the yield curve may be telling us. That, you know, that's the gap between the two and the 10-year Treasury yield. A narrow yield hurts profits at banks. There's a lot to discuss. Let's bring in Eric Irvin. He is Reality Shares uh, CEO. Uh, we're we're going to talk about the yield curve in a second, but let's talk about what's going on with the futures this morning. You know, you've got more and more comments coming out of investment banks in China uh, about their fears there that the rhetoric has intensified so much that this does become a trade war between the U.S. and China. Shanghai is now in bear market territory, that market. The yuan is at a six-month low against the dollar. I mean, what it, What's going on this morning, in your opinion? Yeah, these are tough times right now. We um, Not only have we come off of an eight-and-a-half-year bull market in the U.S. equity market, now we have all these concerns of trade talks and yields curve flattening. So it's not easy to be an investor at this moment, but you want to look for areas of value. China is not to be ignored. These are the opportunities where you buy, in, in our opinion. So. You but know, buy it, what, though, Eric? I mean, not to interrupt, but I want to make yeah. sure our viewers get the right story here. Because buy what? Because, you know, a lot of these U.S.-based companies, and we're talking big and little, whether it's a Boeing or a Caterpillar uh, or, or a Harley-Davidson, those with overseas exposures that are going to be hit by tariffs as these trade war, you know, all this rhetoric intensifies, you know, the, the people hold shares in these companies, a lot of them because they love the company. What do you tell that person? Yeah, well, it's, again, it's very difficult, and, and I think it's an opportunity for the investors to look outside of our borders, too. So, so, you know, if you're an investor in U.S. companies, you've got to focus on quality and growth. Those are the two things that, you know, we're always pounding the table on. So, so focus on companies that have the ability to pay dividends and grow those dividends over time. That's one thing. So that way you can kind of ride out these storms and ride out these rising interest rate environments. But then second is look outside of our borders. So, for example, if your investors can access that Chinese market, which is the second largest stock market in the world, that, well, that's one thing. That's true, but I have to say, just to push back a little bit, yeah. China is good. the Shanghai just went into bear market territory, so the Chinese market, but maybe emerging markets, maybe that's some place that, even, that we could suggest to people. And, and maybe, but that's the point, is, is you want to be buying these markets in bear market territory. You don't want to be buying them okay. when they're at all-time highs. And okay. I'm talking about nibbling and, and dollar-cost averaging into these markets, right. again, to build a position I, over Time. A couple quick things. I do want to ask you, Eric, about, you know, the Senate now is considering ways to limit the president's authority on tariffs. This has been the story for the week. It was the story last week, whether it's uh, Bob Corker from Tennessee or Orrin Hatch. They're both are coming up with ways to maybe because, you know, the president's using national security. These senators are saying this is harming the markets. This is harming businesses. They want to try and stop that. Investors, though, this morning, I got to say, Eric, they seem to be ignoring uh, those voices in Washington. How do you respond to that? Yeah, and, and I, it, again, the investors have a lot to think about right now because we're at such elevated levels in the markets, but they are healthy markets. These are, valuations are high, so that causes a little bit of additional uncertainty. It, it's just tough right now for investors to think about any kind of uncertainty from political risk. Mm -hmm. So I just lighten up, let off the gas, and then start adding to alternative investments. Alternative investments. Yeah, I know that you follow Bitcoin, which is down 57% for the year. <laughs> but I guess to your point, if you want to take a little bit of a chance, maybe now is the time. All right, Eric, thank you very much. We appreciate it this morning. Appreciate thank your you. time. All right, Dow yep. again is down.